Hi, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today I'm finishing out the 2016 AP Physics 1 uh, free response questions. So let's take a look at number 5 here. The figure above on the left shows a uniformly thick rope hanging vertically from an oscillator is turned off. When the oscillator is turned on and set at a certain frequency, the rope forms a standing wave shown on the right. P and Q are two points on the rope. The tension at point P is greater than at point Q. Um, oh, yeah, so what's happening is, is uh, the, the, the rope has weight. And at P, the weight down here is more than the weight down here. So P is supporting more rope, which would weigh more. Than, than at point Q. Let's just, I mean, just do a free body diagram at P. What What's pulling up? I got tension. What's doing down? Mg. Mg is the weight of all of this below it, right? That's how much is pulling down on it. And same up here. The t this is tension on Q. Mg. But this mass is just the weight of this part of the rope, which is less than this one. Hence, because they're not accelerating, the tension has to, the, the upward force has to equal the downward force. So the tension equals Mg. And because this Mg is smaller, this tension has to be smaller. Okay. Student hypothesizes that increasing the tension in the rope increases in the speed at which a wave travels along the rope. In a clear, coherent paragraph length response, my favorite, that may also contain figures and or equations explain why the standing wave shown above supports the student hypothesis. Okay, so if I increase the tension, they want increased tension. They're trying to show that the velocity increases. Okay. Now, um, let's talk about like velocity. What are equations? Velocity equals this. So I want you to kind of get a sense why this is true. If the velocity is wavelength times frequency. What's happening at P is the wavelength is smaller. All right? The frequency is the same because the frequency is being dictated by how this thing is shaking it, right? That That's the speed at which. But the wavelength is... Um, actually, it's longer. Longer wavelength. Wavelength's from here to here, right? From credit. You know, the wavelength is higher at P. When the wavelength's higher at P and the frequency is the same, the velocity goes up, and that's true. And also the tensions. Okay, so what are we saying? At point P, tension is higher. In the experiment, the wavelength is higher, is higher too. Because frequency is constant and based on um, the oscillator, V equals lambda F would indicate V has increased. Okay, so V is increased, right? Hence the hypothesis is correct. I don't know if we would say anything more than that. That was really short on the last question, so let's just take a look at this. For indicating there's more rope or weight below one point than the other, for indicating that the tension at any point counteracts the weight below that point. I kind of did it with the pictures. I didn't like write it out. Okay, five. For indicating the wavelength is longer near the top of the rope, for indicating the frequency is the same throughout the rope, I did that. For using V equals lambda F to conclude the wave speed, indicating that as stated in A, the tension is greater near the top of the rope. For a response, a sufficient paragraph structure is described in published requirements for a paragraph length response. Man, I don't know what this last one even means. I probably should read that um, to be of more advice to you guys, but um, that's okay. I mean, you guys can see, like, I, I don't know what the guidance is on that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah. So that wraps up the exam. I think we did pretty good. Again, I don't ace these things, but um, uh, I generally know how to solve the problems. I generally understand the physical concepts. So I 
Hope that made sense to you. Um, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.